Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. I'm wondering how I, how I should present this. But uh, I don't know how I'm going to present it, to present this. But anyway, let me just say that, let me confirm to you that JJ is gone. JJ is gone. And um, I want to say, start by saying thank you very much to all of you who are praying for JJ. God has created his way and JJ is gone. I, let's not... Uh, uh, I know there are speculations here and there and whatever, whatever, but uh, I, am, I am very confident. Uh, I, I have to select, I have to be careful in the way that I come out. Uh, but I want to tell you that I'm confirming to you, JJ is gone. It's like the way, you know, like, the, like, like in, the, in the gospel, when Jesus Christ was taken up to heaven and people are still looking. Is he gone? Is he gone? Is he going to come back? He's gone. And he's not going to come back. He's gone and he's not going to come back. But let's keep on praying for him. Let's keep on praying for him so that he, he can be safe. JJ has survived the jaws of uh, the dictatorship of President Haka in the Ichinema. Nothing else. JJ has survived the jaws of the dictatorship of President Haka in the HDMI. JJ is not a criminal. JJ is not a criminal, uh, especially on the issues that they have brought. No. No. This was all political. It's all political. And I want all of you to send the message out there, you know, near and far that JJ is not a criminal, JJ is not a criminal that was involved in aggravated robbery. Because this is a narrative that they want to run and they will run it everywhere to paint JJ as a criminal. JJ is not a criminal, JJ did not commit aggravated robbery as being alleged by the police. The whole thing of JJ being charged with the, this uh, very serious crime, it was all to cover up the abduction. It was all to cover up the abduction to protect the people at State House. This is what it is. This is a ploy by the government to cover. And let me not even in, in, say by the government, by President Akainde Ichirema and his people, to cover the crime that they committed. The only criminals that we have here are those that are in state house, those that orchestrated the abduction of JJ to eliminate his life. They are the ones that started. They wanted to eliminate JJ's life. We wouldn't have found JJ alive if you people did not come out to speak on JJ. It is because of the pressure that you had put that JJ was found alive. And when JJ was found alive, these people, they were so careless, they had exposed themselves. They thought, you know, they would get information from JJ and they would just uh, discard him. Unfortunately, by some miracle, God protected him. JJ would not have been found alive. JJ would have been found like m those other people. Uh, you know, there are a number of people that have gotten lost, actually. People that were lost, that were killed. Remember that um, that chairperson, you know. So it was it was a it was an assassination plot plot which failed. They were supposed to get JJ, get information out of him, and discard him. 
unfortunately they couldn't handle the pressure they saw the pressure which was coming from the general public and they said no let's release it but because of how they had exposed themselves in the way they were torturing him in the way that they were interviewing him they couldn't and i told you this you will remember those of you who have been following me you will remember i've been running through jj's uh, uh, event and i've been telling you what uh, even what was going to happen because i don't know how i can put it how i can say this nicely but <laughs> the point is that i have information on my fingertips i have information on my fingertips so i know what was happening to jj i know the people that were involved and dj had not lied even when he came out he had not lied he revealed these people their intention was to just eliminate him so let no one out there look at jj as a criminal running away from justice jj is running for his life jj is running from a brutal dictatorship of president Haka in the Ichilema. we should not look any other way let's look at the brutality of president Haka in the Ichilema. this is what is at stake this is what is at stake nothing else nothing else nothing of jj being a criminal forget it it is the brutality of president haka in the hdma it is the satanism that is in this government because really i mean people who want to eliminate you know uh, their opponents they are nothing but satanists they are nothing but satanists so it is the satanism the satanism of wanting to eliminate people of president haka in the hdma that is at play here. Nothing of JJ being a criminal. God saved him. They had him in his hand, in their hands. They had him. They had him in, in their hands. They had him. And they, they thought they would do everything. But you know, the power of God comes in. And he survived. You know, some people are still talking about JJ, you know, having had updated himself. If you ask yourself, even if you are a praise singer, even if you love Haka in the Ichirema so much, even if you don't want to see reason, ask yourself, why did JJ abduct himself? If JJ really abducted himself, why did JJ do that? For what reason? For what reason? Just tell me, you stop for a moment because before JJ disappeared, there was nothing. JJ was just moving around, you know? There was nothing. JJ was not facing anything. He was not facing any crime, JJ. He was not facing, he was not even invited to the police or whatever. He's, he was not. Remember that. Remember, I want you to think, to think through. Because even as you are supporting these wrong things, you should be able to have some reason. I'm asking you, before JJ was abducted, was there anything around JJ? Was there anything that could have motivated JJ to abduct himself? Nothing. There was nothing. Nothing. He was a member of parliament. He was being suspended together with other members of parliament. And when he was suspended, he decided to take time to be with Edgar Chagwalubu. That's all. That's all. When he was actually on suspension, he was saving a, a suspension. And when he was suspended, he decided to be, to, you know, to be more with President Edgar Chagwalungu. That's how we started seeing very prominently in different places where President Edgar Chagwalungu went. There was nothing. So if you are saying, if you are saying, no, he abducted himself, you should be asking yourself, before you say that, have a reason why could have JJ abduct himself what could have been the motive what he was already a member of parliament okay he was already a member of parliament i mean why would he have abduct himself why 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 would he have abducted himself why tell me why do you think jj would have abducted himself when he was living a normal life like any like anybody else like anybody else the only thing that brought JJ now to the other side, these other guys, they had a motive. Those who abducted him, they had a motive. 
and the motive was to get information about the activities of Edgar Chagualungu. That was all. That was the motive. And I can tell you, some of us who have been arrested, some of us who have been arrested, some of us who have been tortured, some of us who have been put under pressure, the issue of Edgar Lungu always comes in. Ask this guy, uh, uh, Chris Zumanizim. Ask him. Ask him. Chris Zumanizim had no case, no case to be before the police. He had nothing. But they got him because they knew he was a political advisor. And they started seeing him around Edgar Lungu. He had, he had gone away, by the way. He had gone away. Chris Zumanzimba had gone away. But then he came back. And that attracted trouble. If Chris Zumanzimba immediately after losing power, if he was always found with Edgar Chagalungu like some of these other people, Chris Zumanzimba would have been arrested for many other things. They would have arrested him. But because he had detached himself, I think he was pursuing uh, his PhD. And then he started lecturing and whatever, whatever. He was not talking to any of us. Then he brought problems for himself the moment he went back and started being seen with Edgar Chabalungu. Particularly, particularly the day that the police went, went to Edgar Lungu's house and they wanted to cut the, you know, the gate. There were a lot of interrogations that went on around there. Some of us who were asked, who were interrogated so much about that incident. And that brought exposed Chris Zuman Zimba. And Chris Zuman Zimba, they had to come up with something. They had to come up with something. The case that they charged him, he was not anywhere near. He was not anywhere near of the issue of the gasket. Nothing. He was not linked at all. But they had to find something which can keep him inside. Which can keep him inside. And for these kind of people, those that, you know, they think that these people are close to Edgar Lungu, those that they want to get information from Edgar Lungu, they want to keep them inside. Chris Zimba will tell you he was kept inside simply because they wanted to get information about Edgar Lungu, about what? They wanted something incriminating. Haka Inde Ichire Maha doesn't sleep on Edgar Chagwalungu. He has been looking for something incriminating and he's still looking. But unfortunately, there is just nothing. That man is innocent. That man, like Sia once said, was just painted black, was demonized for elections. That's all. And that's why Edgar Lungu, uh, Haka Inde Ichire Maha, is failing to find something. But he has been targeting people, he has been sniffing around, trying to extort something that can incriminate Edgar Chagwalungu. That is how you saw Chris Zumanizimba then. There are other people also that have been targeted where they thought they would get some information, you know, incriminating to Edgar Chagwalungu. That is how also this guy. A, a um, um, JJ Banda found himself in problems. JJ Banda, because JJ Banda earlier on, earlier on, he was, I mean, I'll, I'll keep saying this, he was a darling of President uh, Haka Inde Hichilem. Soon after election, JJ Banda went to Haka Inde Hichilem. And I do remember myself confronting him to say, Look, how are you doing this? You want to betray. Edgar Chagwalungu, you know, after what he has done for you. And he said it was just politics. Unfortunately, he realized that there was nothing uh, with the UPND. There was nothing with Haka in the HM. And I've been saying this and I'll repeat it here, that even some of you who think that you can go to Haka in the HM and get something, you are wasting your time. You are wasting your time. There is nothing kuriba haka in the chilema. Beba tuku pesherungu kwendam in an adenderemo. In an adenderemo. I I came so close. I came so close. But I always say I will not devoir whatever was discussed in private. I will not do that.
I'm not a person that is going to come here and say, now I met this one, I never, I will die, never. Even if you do me bad, I will never. As long as what we discussed was in confidence, I'll keep it that way. But suffice to say that I went so close and yet I ended up being here. I was not secured. Not because I'd committed a crime, I didn't commit any crime. But just because when he hates you, when he hates you, forget it, you are done. When he hates you, forget it, you are done. That is Haka in the Ichilema. Ali kwa toru patoru rodu viru ya kwa nga kupata, nisha kupata, you are done. And it's the same thing with JJ Banda. When JJ Banda, you know, differed with Haka in the Ichilema, Ali mupata fie, JJ Banda, Ali mupata. Ali mupata. Ero kuisa mbona nomba, asa sangati, alina Edgar Lungu, chamu kalipachaba na wesi. He behaves like he, you know, that person who has got uh, that passion hatred, you know, a hatred of passion, if I could put it that way. A passion of hatred, sorry. A passion of, um, a hatred of passion. Ilia kwa tulefu wa gelo na ngwalikwete gelo, you know, elo gelo wako kana, elo wamu mwana na umbi guy. You know, there are those people that get confused. They just can't take it. It's like, I can't, if I can't have you, Nobody should have you. That is the kind of hatred that Haka in the HDMI has. You have to be on his side. You have to be his zombie. You have to be his zombie. You don't have to think. You just have to be praising. When you meet Haka in the HDMI, you just have to praise him. Nile sa. You just have to be prostrating. Prostrating. That's all. Epo mungonfwa na Haka in the HDMI. And this is not just the about those in opposition, even those who are in ruling party. Our ministers They are uncomfortable. Look at their faces. They are not happy. Which minister in Haka in the HDMI is jumping around? Starting with Rombana Rumango. Starting with Wana Rumango. Look at Wana Rumango. She's a vice president. She's supposed to be enjoying life. Where? Where? Look at their faces. They are, they are all gloomy. If in so fiari pona, fiari pona, they have got no joy. It is not his. And this I'm saying, no poweke vare umfwa vare sumina. No poweke vare umfumina. Kwe na chesi nkari randa. Who is a friend of Aka Indechile? Who is a friend of Aka Indechile? Aka Indechile ma intimidates everyone. Kwat nindo she. He intimidates anyone quite nindosh. So, there is adequate this hatred, and this is the hatred that he had on JJ Banda. This is the hatred that he had on some of us. And some of you who are thinking of going that side, I wish you luck. Edgar Lungu has got his weaknesses, but surely you cannot compare the weaknesses of Edgar Lungu to this man. This man is just something else. Ah, no, 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 no. This man is something else. So, they wanted to make sure that they fix JJ. Unfortunately, God protected him. Unfortunately for them, God protected him. He survived. When he survived, they were busy. You have heard the recordings. You have heard the recordings. Everything about JJ and the goodness is that, I mean, there is some evidence that you can look at. When we were telling you that these people are trying to tell JJ to say, no, back off that. Stop accusing these people. Stop accusing these people. Some of you, you thought you were joking. But you have heard it. You heard it on recording. And they have not even denied it. They have not denied it. Tabo Kawan has not denied it. That other PS has not denied it. Sylvia Masen has not denied it. They are saying, we wanted to help him. You were Tabo Kawan. How did you want to help him? How did you want to help him? This is your criminal guy. Okay? Whenever this guy is a criminal, has committed the aggravated robbery, how did you want to help him? How did you want to help him? And that conversation that you had, how does it point to what you are saying that you wanted to help him? Because your discussion was about those two guys in the state house. It was about Levi Goma and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the other guy. 
you were determined to make JJ change the story. You were determined to make JJ change the story. And JJ, those of you who have heard the, the conversation, he clearly said, Imam Wevantu, I'm a politician. I know these things come and go. Why would I pick on these two? Why would I pick on these? I've got many political enemies. JJ was saying in that recording, I've got many political enemies. Why didn't I pick on those political enemies? Why did I pick on these two? Why did I pick on these two? He was adamant. He maintained the story. And that is, in, that is there. But Tawo Kawana, that PAC, Sylvia Masibo, they wanted to convince JJ to change the story. JJ refused. And from that, they, they couldn't release him. Because of that, they couldn't release him. And they wanted to punish JJ. They took him away from Lusaka, where, you know, there are a lot of people, politicians, people to go and see JJ. Umuavela Lesa. Umuavela Lesa. They thought, let's take him far away. Let's take him to Chipata. That's why we take him. Let's take him to Chipata. There you have no support. And I can tell you, some of the things are not there for me to, I'm not going to reveal in, in, before the cameras. I'm not going to be that irresponsible. But that is the mistake you made. That is the mistake you made. Thank God. That is how God, you know, saved JJ. Because you wanted to punish him so much. You wanted him to take, you wanted to take him away from his family. The wives that you talk about, you keep talking about three wives. Because you seem to be talking about JJ's wives so much. Are you admiring Jack Mimbu's, uh, uh, JJ's wives? Eh? You keep talking about, you don't fail to mention the wives. Three wives, three wives. I mean, I think it is well allowed in the Tonga tradition. You can pick three wives as well. Then keep abusing these women, these three women, three wives, three wives. Why are you talking about these three wives, three wives, three wives? Eh? Three wives, three wives. I'm done. He can reverse psychology. Mula kumbwa. Na imo mulefu are three wives. Get through those three wives. Get through those three wives. I mean, I think in Tonga tradition it is allowed. Eh? I think in Tonga tradition it is allowed. Get three wives also. Eh? Three wives, three wives, three wives, three wives. I'm done. I think mula kumbwa. Makashi wakwa jiji. Mula kumbwa. Hey, hey, I'm there. How we? Much I'm there. Ah, ah. Three wives, three wives. Eh? Three wives, three wives. Now I'm quite tired of watching three wives, three wives. Ah, I'm there. I'm not there. We I'm not there. We just three wives, three wives. I don't want to passionately. I think I'm not for three wives. I'm there. Just come out. Not to grab with cut. Not to grab with cut. So, but anyway, the whole point is that you thought you were going to fix JJ. You took him that side. Eh? And I'm telling you, one day, one day, when we will be, you know, uh, when we will all retire, you know, when we will all retire, God willing, He keeps us. Hey, I'm there with Jack Mimbo. We have come three wives. We have come three wives. You know, at a certain age, I'm a guy So, you know, if you have too many, it's very difficult. If you don't listen to the palasti, we have to pray church to to prostrate. But anyway, if God look, if God keeps us, one day I will tell you the mistake you made. The mistake you made was to take JJ in Chipata, where you thought you are going to. You are, for you, you thought you are going to torture him. But that is how God works. That is where God worked. That is where God worked. I will tell you one day, I will tell you 
<laughs> I'll tell you. And somehow, somehow, the Spirit of the Lord entered into certain people. And JJ is out. But one thing that I want to tell you, without speaking too much, one thing that I have to tell you is that what has happened to JJ should open your eyes to know that as much as you may be this confident, Waka in the HM, I'm looking in this camera and I'm telling you, as much as you may be this confident, you just don't know. You don't know when it is not your day. This should tell you. Those police officers that you have that you are keeping there, I'm telling you, you are wasting your time. You're just wasting your time. Those police officers, those police officers, they, they are nothing. Just, just, just release them already. Just release them already. There is nothing that you are going to get from those police officers. They are nothing. 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 That is not where the issue is. But again, it's not something that you are going to get from me on social media. No. There will come a time. There will come a time when I will be able to tell you. But those police officers, you think those police officers would be that foolish? Eh? We have detained them. We have detained them. You think those police officers, the five of them, would connive to allow JJ to leave? You think those five police officers will, would connive? Yes, let JJ go. You think five people, five Pokola, three from correctional service, two from your special, and Pokola, it's your special police officers. It's your special police officers. You think those people will be that foolish to say, let JJ go and we should remain. You think they would do that? It is actually foolish that you are even keeping them. It is foolish. It is very foolish. It is very foolish that you are keeping those people because, I mean, how dumb can they be? How dumb can they be? Five of them. So you think JJ called all of them five? Imwe, same kulu. So Imwe guys, Naram Tuka, here is 10 pin, 10 pin, 10 pin. You think that's what happened? Mule tonton kanya, ushe mule tonton kanya. Are you really thinking? JJ called five police officers. Come. Iwe. Mm. Iwe. Mm. Iwe. Mm. Mm. Now I'm going. You think they will be that foolish? And I know some of those uh, 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 three officers. I know them. They are very senior officers who have worked in police for a long time. Uh, two from um, one from um, I know one police, and then I know two from uh, uh, correction service. They have been there for a long time. You think they would they would allow you know this such a thing to happen and lose their benefits and go through all this nonsense? But and I'm telling you, this is why I'm telling you. This is a caution to you that be very careful. Let this. Open your minds to know that don't be too sure. Don't be too sure. Don't be too sure because the makaya kwalesa tamuishive efo yengachita. You don't know how God can just change things. Those police officers muleva muleli chushafi muleli chushafi. There is nothing, and they have not committed the crime. They have not committed the crime. You are just intimidating them. You are just you just want somebody to blame. But I'm telling you, this is how God works. This is how God works. This is how God works. Those people will never shoot fear, and you get nothing from them. You get nothing from them. And for that matter, I want to tell you, it is not a crime. They have not committed a crime. They have not committed a crime. Until you find it. A, a case if you if you find really a case that yes they are linked but i'm telling you those are not linked not at all they are not linked they are not linked yes 
God works through people. It is true there are people behind it. It is true there are people behind it. But not those five that you are talking about. Though not those five. You are wasting your time. You are wasting your time. God opened the way for JJ to go. And yes, God works through people. I will not pretend that God works through people, but not those police officers. How foolish can they be? Five of them. You think those five, they don't even know each other, those police officers. <laughs> anyway, it is not a crime. So, stop just abusing innocent people. Stop abusing those police officers. Stop detaining them. They have done nothing. Stop detaining them. Just release them. Because it's not a crime that they have committed. You can do your investigations. Wow, Stradikumaya and then whatever, whatever. Instead of you detaining them. Then, I know. I also know. I have received intelligence information. You want to go for Binwe Ompundu. Binwe Ompundu mwalimu koselela. Mwalimu koselela Binwe Ompundu. I have gotten it. I have gotten it. You are going, you are, you are looking for Binwe Ompundu. You want to get Binwe. What has Binwe got to do? What has he done? At no, how did Binwe know? Because he posted that he, 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 JJ is not on the hospital bed. Hello? JJ, Binwe has been talking to the, to the wife, to the, to, the, to the family. He has been talking to the family and the family were concerned. When JJ disappeared from the bed, they were concerned. And they started telling people. They started telling people. So why, why do you want to, you know, to start a, a, a building a case against Binwo? Binwo is innocent. What has he done to you? Eh? But you know, again, I want, to, I want to tell the Zambian people, because me, I speak to open the minds of the Zambian people. Binwo, if you hear next time Binwo is being uh, called to the police or Binwo being arrested, it is not about whatever they will be telling you. It is about the things that Binwo has been talking about. Binwo is one of a very resourceful uh, member of parliament who has been bringing things to light. Remember, it is Binwa who told us about those uh, targets which they sold out. It's Binwa who told us. It's Binwa who told us about uh, the mines, what has been going on in the mines. Binwa has been very resourceful. He brings out very credible information. And this is the fear. This is why Haka in the HM doesn't like Binwa. Haka Indejirima doesn't like those people who have got information, those who are able to bring out information to the public. He doesn't like them. That is why Binwo, you hear, you know, they are sniffing around like sniffer dogs, you know, around Binwo. Like Binwo is carrying drugs. He's not carrying drugs. He's not a criminal. The only thing why they are following Binwo is that Binwo, he brings out issues. And they are uncomfortable. And then Binwo jails very nicely. He, he, he has influence, especially among young people. Binwo mingles very well with young people. That is what they are uncomfortable with. Not whatever nonsense that you hear about Binwo. And I'm telling this, I am telling you so that you know. Because soon, Pandelanda, they are busy trying to get Binwo. They are trying to get Binwa. I'm telling you, you will hear it. They, you will hear it in no time. Because, I mean, these fools, even if they don't have anything, they will still go ahead. So I know they don't have anything. They don't have. But they want Binwa. Because of what he brings out and because he's also a friend to JJ. He's also a friend to JJ. They don't like it. They don't like it. So, and all, all, over the wives, let them not be intimidated. Let the wives not be intimidated. Or the family members, let them not be intimidated. Family members of JJ, be ready. They will come for you. They will intimidate you. Don't be intimidated. Don't be intimidated. And the... 
uh, PF and everything, can we organize some lawyers to be on standby for JJ's family? This is the least that we can do. Can we organize lawyers that should be readily available? As I'm talking right now, can people start thinking of lawyers that would be attached to JJ's family? So that when they are called, they go with lawyers. They have not committed a crime. They are not the ones who were looking after JJ. Uh -uh, they were not. JJ was in the custody. Like the minister said, the minister was very right. He was in our, in our custody. It is them to explain. It is the government to explain, not other, not other people. But Jack Mwimbu, you are the one to explain where JJ is. As it is, so you should not turn this around to people, to innocent people, to his family, to his friends. No, he was in your custody. If anything, we should be demanding that you, you, you find JJ for us. You should find JJ for us. He was in your custody. Allah. So don't go out and start intimidating people. And I'm saying this, I want people to mwiluke because sometimes you get intimidated. Ngabami konka at no. We have to ask you. You have to ask you. You, the family members of DJ, don't accept anything that they should be following you to tell that you tell them where DJ is. No. You should be asking them instead. Because your JJ is with the police. So you are the ones who should be asking him. And you should be telling the government to say, we want our person and we want him alive. We don't want to find him dead tomorrow. We don't want to find JJ dead. As we speak, legally, can you learn the party legality? Learn the party protecting the constraint. Learn the party shanchanya, whatever, whatever. As we speak, it's you the government. So if tomorrow we find JJ lying in the bush, dead, it is you, the police, uh, the, the government. It is you, the government. JJ, as far as we are concerned, JJ is in your hands. So if anything should happen to JJ, it is you, the people, the government, who should be able to explain. So, no one should be intimidated. No one should be intimidated. Reach out to every family member. Tell them no one should be intimidated by the police or by the government. JJ is in the hands of the government. So, they should not come to you to ask you. You should be the one, you should be the one to ask them. No one should be intimidated. No one has committed a crime. Not even those police officers who are there. Not even those police officers who are there. Because I know for a fact that they are not involved. They are not involved. God created a way. That is all. God created a way. As soon as the jail got out, he was in the vehicle and he was gone. Where he has gone, it is one day. It is a story for another day. It is a story for another day. But that is me talking. That is me talking. It is not for you to go to the family members and whatever, whatever. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Don't even trouble the family members. Don't even trouble whoever, what, what. No, don't. Just, just feel ashamed. Imewa gava ba UPND government. Imewa akalinde ichema. We change it, we change it, and whatever, whatever, whatever. Just feel ashamed that this has happened. And I want you to know that this is how God can work. Because you can do everything. Even me, I'm here. I'm here. When you were busy looking, what, what was sending people in South Africa? Yeah? Sending people in South Africa. Hiring a plane to bring me into Zambia. Whoa! When they came to the hotel, I was gone. I was gone. How did I know? God is there. When you thought, you know, I'll be caught by, by pineapple or whatever, whatever, it didn't happen. 
Because they move in sir. You don't hold our lives. You don't hold our destiny. You don't know about our tomorrow. Worry about yourselves by you PND. Worry about yourselves. Worry about yourselves. I'm telling you this. I'm going to repeat this by you PND. Worry about yourself. You are not God. You are not all powerful. There is a God out there. The Chirufia that you wanted to be in prison, the Chirufia that you wanted, you know, uh, killed because you, 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 you sent those soldiers at my house. I would have been dead. But the guy that you wanted to go, here he is, he's talking to you and so many people. Realize you are not the Alpha and Omega. You are not. You are desperate to get some of us. But how come we are here? Because you are not God. And the more you try, I can assure you, you are fighting God. The more you try, the more you want to do this and that, that is how you're digging yourself deeper into the hole. Worry about yourselves. You don't have it. I wish I could tell you more, but I can't. But I'm telling you, worry for yourselves. Worry for yourselves. Worry for yourselves. Worry for yourselves. I'm, I'm repeating. Worry for yourself. Don't get preoccupied following us. Who are we going to arrest? Who are we going to put in ourselves? Stop. Start doing the right thing. Start doing the right thing. Because you just don't know. You don't know who is frustrated. You don't know who is not happy with you. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. This JJ that has gone is not these small carpenters that you are putting themselves in. It's not. They are nothing, those. They are nothing. I can tell you that. They are nothing. Stop wasting your time. Do the right thing instead. These bad things that you do, those very police officers that you send to us, they are human beings. They are human beings. And some of these things, especially when you are doing them, you know, unjustly, you have to remember that Zambians are not naturally bad people. He could be a police officer. He could be a soldier. But naturally, Zambians don't like troubling one another. Zambians are not like that. They are not like that. So this, you know, this uh, barbarism that you are trying to implant in some of these people, you know, like when you, when you eat something that is very sour and then, you know, you burp and it comes out, that is what is happening to some of these people. But they can't do anything. They can't do anything. And they are waiting for an opportunity. They are waiting for a time when things will be better. They are waiting for that. I can assure you there are people that are not happy. The very people, some of the people that you are using. But how can they you have very few people, very few people that are, that are tolerating your nonsense. A lot of them are not happy. But on the end, I can assure you, I've got so many police officers who are watching, and the majority of them, they are agreeing with me. They are tired of carrying out bad orders. They are tired of torturing, torturing innocent people. They are tired. And like somebody was telling me today, somebody was telling me today, he was saying, I mean, they are busy doing, sending us to do these bad things. And yet, we are just suffering. How I wish they would concentrate on looking at the welfare. Looking at the welfare. But it's, things are bad. We can't pretend. Even us, it's, things are bad. I mean, she, Galaya, Muma camps, go Muma camps. How they are suffering, go Muma camps, Vaka in the Go home camps, you think those police officers that line up waiting for you to pass, 
You think they are happy with you. You think they are happy with you. <laughs> Back in the Chirima, you can hate me for telling you the truth, but I'm telling you, uko ebele mfuwa ya noko mutanshi. Uko ebele mfuwa ya noko mutanshi. Don't look at me with hatred. Listen to what I'm talking about. Umweo wa muntu, waba muma tui. Umweo wa muntu, waba muma tui. Echo tulandila. That is why freedom of expression is number one on the liberties of a human being. Because we communicate. And when we communicate, the wise listen. The wise listen. But the foolish ones, they react, they hate us, and they want to, to get us and do whatever, whatever. But listen to what I'm telling you. Where, where you have Aka in the Ichirema, really, when you sit in your chair and think, think about the Zambian people. Think about the people that are just, the people that are just guarding you outside. The guy that is standing outside. The guy that opens your gate back and forth. Just think of that guy. When he knocks off, where does he go? When that guy who opens your gate every day, when he knocks off, where does he go? Where does he go? What does he find? He finds a house which is in darkness. He finds a, a, a house which is in darkness. He finds a house where there is no water. Ask yourself, that police officer that is standing, carrying a gun next to you, loaded, a gun loaded, is standing next to you. Ask yourself when this guy goes at the month end, he goes to receive his, his salary. Do you think he's happy with you? These are serious questions I'm asking you. That guy who carries a loaded gun, loaded, powerful gun, he carries it to protect you. That guy standing next to you, when he gets a salary, do you think he's happy? Do you think he's happy back in the cinema? Do you think he's happy? Do you think he goes home and calls his wife to say, today it's payday. Let's celebrate my wife. Let's go to Manda Hill. Let's go and have ice cream. My children dress up properly. Let's go. Do they do that? Or oh, the day they get the salary, it is misery. It is misery. The day that they get a salary, the salary is finished. First of all, they are cuts, they are cuts, they are cuts because Kongole and this monitoring policy that you have put in Kongole Shava of these civil servants Tashipwa. The civil servants are in perpetual debt and they don't know when they will come out of it. A number of civil servants, as I'm tell, talking to you, they are in debt that they, they don't even know when it will end. Some of them microfinance, some of them kuma banks. And Dan Kanyaga is busy playing around with, you know, the interest rates. In Kongoleta Shipwa. From there, these police officers, they start borrowing money. Kuri kuma Shilohs. Before they even get paid. From there, Asango Muntukovati, Ewan 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 you should listen to me, listen and listen good. This is a reality of the people that are protecting you, the people that are saving you. This is a reality. Not the nonsense that you talk about when you are cheating yourself. You sit there on that, on, on that press conference, you are talking. You talk nonsense there. You are talking nonsense. What runs in your head is an illusion. You think you are cheating Zambians, but these Zambians, they are looking at you to say, this man is making us suffer. They are looking at you. And I'm telling you, they are looking at you, not, not Chirufatari. Not Chirufatari. Even when you are busy hating Chirufatari, Chirufatari, you know you I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. Don't worry about Chirufatari. Worry about the people that are next to you. Worry about them. Worry about them because those people are suffering more than Chirufatari. Chirufatari is not suffering. Chirufatari is not suffering. But the people that are next to you, they are suffering. 
Don't think that the misery that you have brought on the Zambian people has spared those people that are around you. It hasn't spared them. So, Mungu for like one five. Five hundred. Ashto Munga. Ashto Munga fe. Yapwa. Na Munga ni two weeks ni shuwapwa. Then this and that, this and that. Most of those police officers, most of those people, the civil servants, and I'm saying the civil servants, everyone, including those that you don't want me to mention, because if I mention them, you will say mutiny. But it's a reality, what? It's a reality. Those civil servants, they are suffering at the Stop misleading yourself. Stop listening to... I mean, you don't even listen to anyone. I don't even want to accuse anyone. It is just yourself. It is just yourself. So, whilst you are busy following these people, following us, you have this reality. This is a reality that you need to look at. This is a reality that you need to look at. What I've told you today, what I've told you today, told you today try it. Call any, any of your security officers at random, call him and say, you know, be honest with me, tell me. Be honest with me, let them tell you. Ask one of these civil servants to say, can you bring, take a random one, random. Bring your salary, bring your person. You see, Remember 2021, you were talking about debt restriction. Edgar Lungo was talking about debt restriction. Uh, not debt restructuring. What is this? What is that? What is what was that? Uh, there was that policy that Ed Galungo was talking about. Debt swap is what is debt swap? No, was what was that? Uh, that there is the policy that Ed Galungo was talking about, which they wanted to, to implement. Can somebody debt swap? Yes, there, yeah, yeah, debt swap. There was that debt swap thing. It was a big issue, and the civil servants were excited. They worshipped you. They worshipped you. They voted for you. They even rigged for you. By the way, the civil servants rigged for you. They rigged for you because they were looking forward to debt swap. They rigged for you. They were looking for debt swap. Today, what have you done for them? What have you done for them? Including those police officers that you are sending. Go and arrest that. Go and pick, uh, pick, pick Zuman. Go and pick... Uh, a bowman, go and pick JJ, go and pick Binwam Pundu, go and pick all those. What have you done for them? What have you done for them? You hurt me, Mahaka in the Ichinema, you hurt me. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you need to worry about these people, not me. Not Eddie Galungu, by the way. Not Eddie Galungu. It's you who is giving, who is giving. Uh, who is reviving the political life of Edgar Shagwalungu. If you had performed well, Edgar Lungu's political life would have been gone by now. But uh, you are reviving it. You have revived it, actually. You have revived it and you continue reviving it. You are busy arresting Atina Dariso, arresting the wife, hey, arresting what, 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 what. How is that Helping the Zambian people. Apandela and so Amalite, most of the combo in Stakuli. Apandela and the people are going hungry. They don't have food. Apandela and some people are praying. They are looking around for Kalova to borrow. So that Vashtomu na Nipanganda. That is what you should be, should be worrying you. But instead of getting worried about that, Apo, you are even creating, I've heard, I'm receiving so much information, I, I received also information that you are busy organizing for 10 by-elections, including JJ's uh, seat, and Mao Sampa's seat, Mao Sampa, who was your darling, you are targeting Mao Sampa. I even heard that you are even, uh, 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 you, 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 you are even going back, you know, to looking for cases for Mao Sampa. Somebody was telling me that he was being questioned uh, uh, about uh, Ruth Mbandu. Can you imagine? Fine, all these things. Somebody was, was telling me 
You want to find something that you can put around Mausam. Somebody told me you was he was being he was being told to re, to bring the story of 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 Ruth in Bandu. I don't know if you saw it. I even saw some other people. They they put they 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 they, they, they are reposting it. I don't know if somebody saw it on social media, but somebody posted. And then I spoke to this person. I said, "What's going on? What about this that she is going?" He said, "Ah, you know." I'm being told that this, 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 this. I think these people are going for Mausam. And yesterday they had a, they had a caucus. They had a caucus yesterday. They had a caucus. And that caucus, they are talking about 10 by-elections, including Matero, including uh, J.J. Banda's seat. You are creating by-elections. You want to create by-elections. How much money are you going to spend in those by-elections? How much money are you going to spend in those by-elections? You are deliberately creating those by-elections because you are desperate. If you are doing it, I'm wish if you are doing it, sometimes you think you are clever, you think you are doing something, and yet the devil has possessed you. And you just never know. The same way that you took the J in Chipata thinking that you are fixing him. You don't know what will happen. You don't know what will happen because you want to touch these by-elections. And Matero is in Lusaka. And you don't think Mao Sampa is a fool. I can tell you that. Don't think Mao Sampa is a fool. You think you might have used him here and there and whatever, whatever. But don't think Mao Sampa is a fool. Mao Sampa is not a fool. Mao Sampa is not a fool. I can assure you that. He's a material boy. That guy is a material boy. So, yes, you are busy now trying to whatever, whatever. Ni murusaka mudia. Ni murusaka. Matero is in Lusaka. You want to have a by-election in Matero. With this load shedding. With this hunger. With all these failures that you have done. Most of the people who are affected by your poor government are in Matero. And you want to go and have a by-election there. Are you let on Tonganya Wino Wino sir? Let on Tonganya Wino Wino sir. And then with what has happened with JJ, you think you are going to have a by-election there. Nicely. Eh? You think you are going to have a by-election there. I don't think he, uh, Dora Celia is telling you a good story. I don't think Dora Celia is telling you properly. I know you are talking to Dora Celia. I know. I know you are talking to Dora Celia, but I don't think she's telling you the story properly. I don't think she's telling you the story properly. Ask, 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 Max. <laughs> don't just listen to Dora Celia. Don't just listen to Dora Celia. Ask around. Ask around about it, about Peter Oki. Ask around. You, mule ile terela, mule ile muka papa. If you name me, muka papa. Muka papa. Chito terela yes. Kuta monika kuati hifua fua. You know that. What what do you call that snake? Eh, what do you call that snake in English? Oh. That snake which like to sleep on the water. I mean, he might look harmless. He might look harmless. He might look nothing. But he, you don't think that you can you can go and have a by-election. Uh, you can go and have a by-election uh, easily in, in, in Pambashi. <laughs> don't think you're going to have it easy. But the point is that all these things that you're doing, all these things that you're doing, you think you're fixing Zambians. But Zambians are not stupid. Zambians are not stupid. Learn from what is happening outside the world. I've been talking about this to say, yes, things are tough everywhere. Right now, I mean, uh, um, uh, England is, uh, is in smokes. There are so many, there are protests and everything and everything. You have put, I know you have put a number of chiefs 
a number of chiefs, a number of senior leaders, you have put them on salaries, and you know, ever me pay that man. Eh? You know, those the, the think tanks, they identified certain people and they put them on payroll and they pay them. That's why you see them, they don't talk. Some of these chiefs, they receive salaries. That's why they don't talk, they are quiet. Because they receive our salaries. And some of them, a number of their relatives have been employed, so they can't talk, they are quiet. But that in Zebu, though that, that thinking, that wisdom, I don't know if it's wisdom or strategy, came from there, and yet they are having, they are having fights there. They are having riots happening in England. Right at Heathrow Airport, I was watching the video, Heathrow Airport, they went there with whatever, it's disturbed. BBC disturbed. So, Imo Waka in the HDMI, Imo Mule Imonati, Imo you are special. Imo you think you are special. And you keep pushing. Because leaders now, what they are doing, they are going kneeling to people. They are trying to come up with policies that are going to ameliorate the hardships of the, of, of, of the people. That's what they're doing. They're trying to find ways of cushioning people such that, you know, people don't suffer too much. And yet, even when you are going the opposite, you are pushing the people. You are pushing the people. I'm telling you, and I'm saying you are pushing the people. I'm not excluding anyone. I am not excluding anyone. I'm saying you are irritating people. You are pushing people. Jack Mumbo, you are a seasoned politician. You are a seasoned politician. I know that kind of age But be very careful. Be very, very careful. Don't take people for granted. People can only take so much. And there are already signs. People are showing you signs that they are not happy. <coughs> so be very careful. <coughs> Excuse me. People are not happy. People are not happy. JJ's disappearance, I want to tell you that you, it, 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 it speaks volume. I can't talk much here. I, I can't. But it, it should open your eyes. That you, maybe you need to stop pushing, you know, pushing people too much. Don't listen to these young people, to some of these young people who know nothing, who don't know about politics. People like Wagyu Batpiri. Wagyu Batpiri, you are going to add yourself there. You, you are going to, you, you are adding yourself to a prosecution of Joseph Malange. What are you bringing? Since when were you a powerful lawyer? <laughs> Wagyu Batpiri, you, you are adding yourself. I mean, Wagyu Batpiri, you are a political appointee. It is not by merit that you were put DPP, no. It is because Haka Inde Ichirema looked at you to say, this is a guy that I can, I can, I can put there and I can manipulate and whatever, whatever. Because you were that, you know, zombie that will accept anything that from Haka Inde Ichirema. It is not by merit. It is not because you are a powerful lawyer. You have never been a powerful lawyer. Where have you been a powerful lawyer in Uwagyu? Where have you been a powerful lawyer? Let alone prosecuting. What have you, who have you ever prosecuted you? Huh? Who have you ever prosecuted? You are, you are just adding embarrassment. You're just embarrassing yourself. What are you doing there? Who have you ever prosecuted? You are someone who has never given birth. You are someone who has never been a lawyer. You are someone who has never been a lawyer. You are someone who has never been a lawyer. What what that case is a is a BID as a criminal case is a BID. You don't have evidence. And you are Gilbert Piri by the fact that you are sitting there, it doesn't create evidence. But Gilbert Piri Munyamuku called it Tamayamkunya Nanika evidence. Pandra Gilbert Piri by sa number evidence here Ponafe Ponafe Takuri. You don't have evidence. If there is evidence, it has not been brought. And that case has already been messed up. Already been messed up. That case has already been messed up. 
Even if you, you want to draw Malanji so much, it has already been messed up. You don't have beyond reasonable doubt. So you mean more like beyond reasonable doubt? There are so many doubts that have been created left, right, and center. At, what is the job of the of the secretary to the treasury? But what is the job of the secretary to the treasure? It's to give money. It's to give money. And the constitution backs him completely. Backs him completely. When they bring the papers, no pay this. His job is to pay. His job is to pay. That's all. Actually, not following procedures. What procedures? Is he part of the tender procedures? Is the secretary to the treasury part of the, part of the tendering committee? Is he part of the selection, whatever, whatever? Is he part of anything? No. He pays based on what is given to him. That's it. So why are you dragging this man? And now because of Gilbert Pirmoisa, then number Fiala, Fiala. This is what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm mentioning this because you are focusing on wrong things. You are focusing on wrong things. Instead of doing what people are expecting you to do, you are not doing it. You're not doing it. You are busy focusing. Instead of letting those people, those businessmen, that Obamwai Katijira, Avena Nani, Avena Nani, Avena Nani, Bonsevadia, Mwadivesh Mwemeni, these people that you follow, these businessmen that you follow, instead of talking to them and allowing them to go and do business so that they can absorb some of the unemployed youths, even when you are busy locking them up, market, every day market, every day market, locking up their money. You have locked up so much money. That money could be invested in the economy and young people would get employment. There would be liquidity. And you think you are, you are safe. Today, as we speak, you are almost, it is exactly now, one year, six months, that is remaining. Even this by-election that you want to create, even this by-election that you want to create, very soon the elections are coming. Very soon the elections are coming. On what basis are you going to go out there to campaign to the people that they should vote for you again? On what basis? But I know, you know you don't have anything that you're going to campaign to the people. Your bet is that Zalomes. That is your bet. That is your bet because you have ECZ in your pocket, because you have a cadre. As an electoral chairperson, you think you will carry the day. Be very careful. Be very careful. You don't know when you will, when you will, when you, when you tip the, the cup over. You don't know when you tip the glass over. Bah! And it will break. Listen to that very carefully. You are pushing the glass to the edge. And you don't know what is on the other side. You might just tip it over and the grass will drop and, and break. What you are thinking will save you is not what should save you. What can save you is delivering to the people. Delivering to the people. Not this bitterness that you have against the certain individuals. Zambians are communal. Zambians are communal. Zambians are compassionate. So even if you may be doing this to Chirufatayali, I get a lot of support in uh, the influence that I have in the country and the popularity that I have. It's the way you have handled me. The cruelty that you dispensed on me. Even if I PF, the same thing, the same cruelty that you, that you, that you, that you they dispensed on me is what gave me popularity. In which I have waste. You have campaigned for me. You have drawn public sympathy. I am here living well. Not because of Ed Galungu. Mm. Not because of Ed Galungu. Because of the sympathy that you built for me. Because people sympathize with me. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Ni kwata na t-shirt ya nyu, na chifana t-shirt ya nyu lelo. In celebrations for JJ's liberation. Ni t-shirt ya nyu. Ni info ya ni t-shirt ya nyu. Se nyu t-shirt. Because people sympathize with me. 
people sympathize with me. And the, they are not even my relatives. They are not even my relatives. Zambians don't like to see Umuntu Wale Mchupa. Ule JJ, the way you have grappled him. Even if you talk, hey, JJ, chame, fi, chame, fi. Fi, you, are, you are saying, Zambians will not bother. Zambians, as long as you are treating others bad, they will not like you. You are in the state house because of the sympathy that people felt for you when PF was busy following you. Especially when they charged you with that big a, a crime of treason. That campaigned for you. That campaigned for you. So if you think you are going to win Zambian people's hearts by going for some of us, by treating us this way and that way, you are wasting your time. Focus on issues that people are complaining about. The sufferings of the people. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.